So one cool thing about Blogger is that you can run Google AdSense ads. So functionally, you can get completely free web hosting and you can make money by running ads. And in this tutorial video, I wanna show you how the entire process works. So let's begin. What's up everybody, it's David from WebsiteCreatorPro.com. I hope you're having a great day. So I personally run Google Auto Ads on my Blogger blog edgeofdavid.com and in this tutorial video I'm going to walk you through step one to step done on how the entire process works. First I'm going to show you how to make your blogger blog eligible to run ads in the first place. Then I'm going to show you how to integrate blogger with your AdSense account and then I'm going to show you your different options for running ads on your site using Google AdSense and your blogger blog. Like always make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps, resources mentioned in the video etc and make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy these types of videos because it does does help the channel. Anyways, let's begin. To my laptop, let's begin. So I want to lead off with talking about AdSense eligibility. So I know a lot of you, when you sign up to Blogger, uh, you're not going to be looking at this. So right now I'm under the earnings tab and right here I can create a new AdSense account. And I know what you're saying. You're like, David, like that's not what I'm looking at. And I had the same issue. Okay. So everybody has this issue. Why is my blog not eligible for AdSense? And so you're gonna be looking at this right here, turn your passion into profits and your blog doesn't qualify for AdSense. The way to make your blog eligible is to just wait. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I know you want a better answer than that, but you have to just, your site has to age. You just gotta wait, you gotta be a little bit patient. Why? Because Google doesn't want people signing up to Blogger and then running AdSense ads and just creating an account really quick and having these fly-by-night little sites. They actually want you to have an account, an established account that's existed for a period of time. And that's it, okay? So unfortunately, there's no quick answer. You just gotta wait, you gotta be patient. And honestly, you have a brand new website. You don't have any content, like you're not gonna make any money from AdSense anyways. Like you have to actually build your site, blog, create content. So step one is to just wait. Step two is to start publishing content. So like this person right here is doing a good job. They have 26 posts, etc. So yeah, that looks good. So when you're publishing content, just make sure that your content meets the eligibility requirements for AdSense because when you're when it does become enabled, you have to apply to AdSense, okay? You're not guaranteed to be accepted. You have to actually apply and you have to make sure that your blogger blog it meets the terms of service that AdSense has set up. So for example, like you have to have unique and interesting content. So you have to have content that's like, that's a good fit for advertisers, okay? And then does your content comply with the AdSense program policies? And so you can go through here with the program policies right there where we have like invalid clicks, encouraging clicks, content policies, abusive experiences, all this stuff, not too much, not too technical. Then you have to be at least 18 years old and that's it, okay? So AdSense is not too strict with the requirements. There's no minimum amount of like page views or traffic levels that you have to have, but you do have to meet uh, these minimum eligibility requirements and just be patient, okay? Just be patient and you know, check back like once a month or so to see if the earnings tab is kind of switched over to where you're kind of looking at something like this. You've been blogging, you've been patient. Your reward is that you can finally create an AdSense account for your blogger blog. Now, before you click this, create an AdSense account and submit your website, I really want you to go through your blog and just make sure that you're meeting the minimum AdSense requirements, okay? So we come down here, again, you have to have unique and interesting content. And so you just need to be careful that you didn't take any like pictures from like Google image search, I mean, maybe images that you don't own, make sure that your content is unique and interesting. So, you know, content that could actually run ads, etc. You have to be 18 years old, there's no minimum traffic or page views, and you have to comply with their terms of service. Guys, this is not a high bar to meet. Uh, but you do have to just you know, be aware of this. So you don't, you know, so you don't have any type of issue when you're going through the process of applying. Okay. And then it's a simple process where you can just click this button and create an AdSense account and then just go through the rigmarole of what's required to verify your identity in order to get set up with the AdSense program. There's lots of tutorial videos here on YouTube that go through that process. That's kind of outside the scope of this video. So I'm not going to walk you through that, but it's pretty intuitive and self-explanatory. Next, if you already have an AdSense account, you're going to be looking at something like this if you click on the earnings tab. And so I've had an AdSense account for over a decade. And so 
for me, it's a really simple process where I can just connect my AdSense account to this blogger blog, and then my website is going to be submitted to the AdSense team. You could also, if you have an AdSense account, just log into your AdSense account and then add a new site. If you want to go that route, there's two different ways, but I personally with a blogger blog, we'll just go through this and just connect and, and do it this way. And that's it. Okay. It's really that simple. And then it takes a few days for the AdSense team to review your blogger blog. Now for the fun part. So when you click on your earnings tab, you're going to be looking at something that looks like this within Blogger. And so Blogger allows you to display ads on your blog. So you just make sure to enable that. And then right here, you can choose how you want the ads to be displayed. Now, I personally recommend jumping into your AdSense account and enabling auto ads because it's just more effective. But if you don't want to enable auto ads and you just want to have uh, very basic placements that are not super annoying, you can go this route. And so you can show ads in the sidebar and below the post, only below the post or only an ad in the sidebar. Personally, this one's the best because you want in the sidebar and below the post. Now the sidebar, you just got to be careful because if people are on a mobile device, they're not going to see any type of ad in the sidebar. And typically your traffic is going to be about 50% people on their phone. So just be aware of that. And so there you go. And so you have ads. This is the sidebar over here. And at the bottom is of a blog post is right down here. Okay. And so that's where you can have ads displayed in this manual layout. Now within blogger, this is a little bit more of a classic layout, uh, but you can add a gadget too, if you want to go this route. And so you can just manually add in ads, <laughs> AdSense ads through this way. Again, I don't recommend this, but it's just something that you have access to if you want to go that route. Now, the better and more effective way to run ads on your blogger blog is to just jump into ads, go to overview, and then go to Google's auto ads feature, okay? And this is better because you're going to have more areas where the ads are displayed. So let's just go ahead and click on that. Now, because if you take a look at the blog post right here, as you scroll down, you're going to notice like, oh, here's an ad unit, and then scroll down again and again and again. Oh, here's another ad unit. This is the advantage of using auto ads uh, because it puts the ads into the piece of content itself. Whereas if you go the blogger routes, you only get ads in the sidebar and in the footer of your website. And that, that those are OK, but it's way more effective to interrupt people with content with ads in the content. And also when people are on a mobile device, it makes the ads kind of sticky at the top a little bit. You know, if you want to get the most uh, from running ads, you definitely want to use the auto ad feature within Google uh, AdSense for your blogger blog. OK, and so here we go. And that's it. And so you can just enable auto ads <laughs> at the click of a button. It's really that simple. Now, one thing that you need to pay attention to is ad formats over here. And this is where you can change the type of format. So if you want in page ads, match content, which I would definitely consider enabling anchor ads, meaning like those are ads that kind of stick at the top and the bottom. Now, vignetting ads, I hate these ads. That's like when someone clicks on a, a link on your site to go to another blog post and then they're, you know, had an ad pop up. Super annoying. I always keep those off. It's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. And that's it. And so one little thing you want to make sure is to go into your page exclusions. And so page exclusions means like you can exclude specific blog posts or pages, whatever, from displaying uh, AdSense ads. So obviously, like I don't want ads to be displayed on, say, my privacy page or contact or about page. No, I don't need ads <laughs> running on those pages, but I'd prefer to have them running on the specific blog post. OK, and that is really it. So just make sure that when you're logged into Blogger, you have display ads on your blog. That's all you have to do. Click this and turn this on and then you can just jump into your AdSense account and then enable auto ads for your website and you're good to go. And the last is to enable an ads.txt file for your website. So when you're logged in, you're going to see something like this. You're going to see earnings at risk. Oh, no, what's going on? OK, it's very simple. Now, if you have a WordPress powered website, you need to click this fix now, and then you're going to have to get an ads.txt file and then download it and then upload it to the root domain name. With Blogger, <laughs> it's way easier. You just navigate over to where it says settings. OK, and then you want to scroll down. And you just want to find where it says monetization, OK, because I just turned this off for this uh, example video. Uh, so it's just come down here. Boom. OK, enable custom ads TXT. Just want to click that. And that's it. <laughs> it's literally that simple. And so you need to do that. OK, and so that that will make this earnings at risk thing, this warning box go away once you go ahead and you enable custom ads TXT.
Okay, that's all there is to it for setting up Google AdSense in your Blogger blog. It really is that easy. Now to recap what we've done, we just set up a Blogger blog and I definitely recommend getting a custom domain name for your Blogger blog. And domain names are not that expensive. You can just jump over to Namecheap.com and get whatever domain name that you like and you get free web hosting with Blogger. Next is just a waiting game. You have to wait a few months for your blog to become eligible to run ads on it. It's not something that you get right out of the gate. You have to publish content and just be a little bit patient. Then once your blog is eligible for monetization, all you need to do is either A, create an AdSense account if you don't already have one or if you already have an AdSense account, you just have to add in your blog to your AdSense. And last, you have a lot of different monetization options with Blogger and Google AdSense. So you can adjust the layout of ads within Blogger, but I don't recommend doing that because you are quite limited. Typically, you can put an ad in the footer and in the sidebar. So you wanna use Google Auto Ads because it has just more ads displaying everywhere. It has like sticky ads at the top and the bottom of your website. It has ads within the content that interrupts people so you get more views and clicks on your ads so you make more money. All right, everybody, that is it for this tutorial video on how to set up Google AdSense with your Blogger blog. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video. My name is David, websitecreatepro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.